Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So today we are going to study about the antidepressants. So what are antidepressants? But, but before the antidepressants, we must know what is depression. So depression can be defined as a clinical condition which is associated with the feeling of sadness, loss of interest, self-neglect, anorexia, which is the loss of appetite and sleep disturbance and in most severe cases the suicidal feeling so it is a clinical condition associated with all of these symptoms signs and symptoms now what is the pathogenesis behind the depression what caused the depression so there are many theories but among many theories the two important one is the monoamine theory and the neurotropic theory so now what is monoamine theory it stated that it is the decrease in the levels the levels and function of the monoamines like the serotonin, norepinephrine and dopamine in the cortical and limbic systems which are responsible for the pathogenesis of depression. So it is the decrease in the levels of and function of these monoamines mainly in these two systems in the cortical and limbic systems because these two systems are mainly involved in the emotions. The, new, the second one theory is the neurotropic theory. And this states that it is the decrease in the brain derived neurotropic factors. Neurotropic factors which is derived from the brain. And these neurotropic factors are critical for the regulation of neural plasticity, resilience and neurogenesis. And decrease in these neurotropic factors is responsible for the depression. So these two theories, the monomine theory and the neurotropic theory are the two main theories which are responsible for the pathogenesis of depressions. There are also many th other many theories but these two theories are important and we will study the classification of antidepressant drugs mainly on this monomine theory. So now let's study the classification of antidepressant antidepressants so the antidepressants are mostly classified into five groups the first one is the tricyclic antidepressants the second one is the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors the third one is the serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors notice that this is selective for the serotonin this classification is selective for the serotonin and here we can see the serotonin and norepinephrine nor epinephrine both are inhibited from the reuptake so it is selective and it is non-selective serotonin in nor epinephrine reuptake inhibitors the third one is the monoamine oxidase inhibitors the fourth one sorry and the fifth one are the atypical antidepressants so now let's study about the drugs which are mainly present in all of these so we have classified the drugs in the anti tricyclic antidepressant into three groups for the purpose of memorization those which end in the triptyline those which end in the premine and those which end in the peen peen so those which end in the triptylines include the amitriptyline nortriptyline and protriptyline these two drugs ends in the triptyline amitriptyline nortriptyline and the protriptyline the second group includes those drugs which end in the premine so it is to include the clomipramine clomipramine remove the clo and just add the i so it will become the amipramine clomipramine imipramine trimipramine and the disipramine these all four drugs ends in the premine so it is it will be easy for the memorization and the third group includes the drug which end in the pin so it includes the amoxipine doxipine and the typine amoxipine doxipine and the dotypine so these include the three three groups and the for the purpose of memorization those which end in the triptyline those which end in the premine and those which end in the pin so it will be easy for the remembrance so the second group is the selective serotonin reactive inhibitors. Also keep in mind that we will discuss the mechanism and how does they act as antidepressant in the more detail in the coming lectures. This uh, lecture is just regarding the antidepressant classification. So you will discuss only the classification and the drugs included in such kinds of group. So the second group, the second group include 
the drugs like the cetalopram and the escetalopram they ends in the pram they ends in the pram cetalopram and in and increase the or add the word es so it will become escetalopram the third one is the pleuxamine pleuxamine the fourth one is the pleuxetine peroxetine these two words ends in the oxetine oxetine so the first one is the which which ends in the pram so cetalopram and the escetalopram the second groups those which end in the oxetine so pleuxetine and the peroxetine and the sixth one is the sertraline sertraline so cetalopram escetalopram pleuxetine peroxetine and also here you can see plu and here also you can see plu so pleuxetine it will also make it easy for the remembering and the sixth one is the sertraline so it will make you make it easy for the remembrance the third group which is the serotonin and norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors includes the drugs like the desvenlafaxine desvenlafaxine remove the des and it will become venlafaxine and the third one is duloxetine it also ends in the oxetine like the fluoxetine and peroxetine but remember note that it belongs to the serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors and these fluoxetine and peroxetine they belong to selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors so it can be quite confusing so duloxetine belongs to the what serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors and the fluoxetine and peroxetine belong to what can you say it belongs to the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors now the fourth group is the monoamine oxidase inhibitors this group is a little bit complicated and difficult but we'll try to make it easy so it is further classified into three groups the non selective which inhibits both the a subtype the a type monoamine oxidase and the b type as you have already know that the monoamine oxidase consists of two types the a and the b so this group inhibit both the types and it includes a drug like the isocarboxazid and pinilazine isocarboxazid and pinilazine the second group which inhibit only the monoamine oxidase b includes the drugs like the sirigiline and the rasagiline sirigiline and rasagiline you can see that they both ends in the giline sirigiline and rasagiline and the third group which inhibits only the a type of monoamine oxidase in uh, monoamine oxidase it include a drug like the meclobimide this this group is very much important because the monoamine oxidase b is mostly present in the brain it is mostly present in the brain so the sirigiline and rasagiline drugs are very much important the fifth group is the atypical antidepressant it is called atypical antidepressant because the drugs in this group have a characteristics which are much different from the other group as well as the drugs in the same group so it includes the drug like sorry it includes the drug like bupropion mirtazapine nepazodon trazodon so for the purpose of memorization you can see that these two drugs they ends in the zodon so trazodon nepazodon trazodon and nepazodon and the first drug is the bupropion and the second one is the mirtazapine mirtazapine remember to differentiate it from the third group of the tricyclic antidepressant which also ends in the pine so it is the mirtazapine mirtazapine and they are amoxipine doxipine and otipine and the fifth one and the last word one is the atomoxetine you can also see that it also end in the oxetine like the drugs which are present in the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors like the pleuxetine and peroxetine and one duloxetine which is present in the non selective serotonin or epinephrine reuptake inhibitors so the words so the drugs which end in oxetine they are present in three groups the selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors the serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors and the atypical antidepressants which include drugs like the atomoxetine
etomoxetine so bupropion minotazepine nephazodone trazodone and etomoxetine so i hope that this lecture has made the classification much more easier for you so that's all for today thank you